Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we are going to begin with this new week. So welcome to week number three. You know that we are um, almost, almost ending this course. So we are entering uh, the week number three. We are going to work on the section number four. Or in this case, we are going to work with um, the topics that we have on the platform related to the section number um the section number four, and then we are uh, going to have just one more week when we finish this week uh, of uh, topics, and then we are just going to have four more days. So in this case, we are going to begin with the first section of these, um, this, uh, I mean, the first, the first session of this week number three. So we are going to uh, continue working on different topics. In this case, we are going to continue talking about um, grammatical topics, we can say, because we are going to talk about a topic that is, is kind of, um, for me, is kind of funny or is kind of interesting because we are going to talk about a uh, something that is very, very important uh, when we are talking in English. And in this case, we are going to um, learn how to use this kind of information because you know that we have different um, things. There are very specific, that there are very important also uh, for this, um, like this process. And this one, the topic that we are going to develop today is one of those topics that are very, very important because we need to know how to use them. Or in this case, you uh, have knowledge about this topic and we are just going to make like a review of this information or we are going to remember different uh, elements related to the topic. But first we have this um, phrase, uh, you know that I like to share some phrases with you at the beginning of the week. And this is the phrase that we have for today. And it says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. It's the same thing with the other um, like phrases that I showed you on the previous weeks. Um that is believing in ourselves. We need to believe in ourselves and to understand that we have the power to uh, like complete all the activities or to achieve all the goals, uh, the goals that we have for the future. And in this case, it's related to this thing too, because uh, we need to believe in ourselves and we need to, to understand that we are unstoppable. Uh, we have the power to do everything that we have in mind. So we need to like uh, focus on the activities or focus on the things that we want to do uh, to achieve these goals. So it is very important that that first thing is to believe in the power that you hold. Es importante que creamos en nosotros mismos y en el poder que tenemos para realizar las diferentes acciones. Somos capaces de realizar Um, todo lo que nos proponemos e incluso más. Así que tenemos que confiar en nosotros y en el proceso que estamos llevando. Now, um, we are going to begin, but let me go to the, let me stop this one for a moment. I need to charge the platform, so give me a moment.
Okay, we are here. Let me see, let me see. Section four. Through this, um, this video that we are going to see right now, you are going to understand um, what is this topic about. We are going to see two different videos. One is a, a word power. In this case, we are going to listen some words. And then we are going to listen a conversation. So listen this information or reading this information, you are going to understand what is this topic about. But first, we are going to listen to these um, two videos, and then we are going to work on the topic. So this is the first one, and it is uh, talking about appearance. So we are going to pay attention to the words, and then we are going to listen to the conversation. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, Handsome, good looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, in this first video, we have information related to um, appearance. We are talking about the appearance or the physical appearance of someone. And in this case, we have different categories. And the first one, we have the hair, then we have age, then we have looks and height. So in this case, we are talking about the adjectives. That is the topic that we are going to develop today. And I was saying that it's very important for us to understand the use of the adjectives. You know that we need to give some details about um, people in this case, because we are going to focus on people. We need to describe people when we are talking, even with the group of friends or when we are working. And... It's very important that we understand how to use this kind of words. And why I was uh, saying that it is very important in English, because we have um, something that is called, um, let me remember, uh, part of a speech. The parts of a speech is one of the most important things that we need to do uh, or to learn when we are in this process of acquiring the language. The parts of a speech are different group of words uh, that we need to use or that we need to learn how to use to create a conversation. And in the part of a speech, we can uh, found uh, verbs, we can found uh, adjectives, adverbs, and different things. But uh, maybe I'm going to add uh, some information related to the to the part of a speech, but in this case, we are going to focus on adjectives. That is one of the of these parts of a speech. Now, we have uh, some uh, words here, but you know that we have a lot of words that function as adjectives. Hay muchos, 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 eh, o muchas palabras que funcionan como adjetivos. Son bastante eh, importantes porque, como ya lo decíamos, estamos hablando de dar una descripción sobre una persona. Entonces, tenemos que saber eh, cómo llamar a esas personas, ¿verdad? Cómo eh, describirlas 
y sobre todo eh, saber qué es lo que vamos a decir sobre ellas. And in this case, we have um, different categories here. And we have some words that can function very well to describe the people. In this case, when we are talking about someone, we can uh, talk about the hair. And we have long brown hair, que es un cabello largo y café. Short blonde hair, un cabello corto y rubio. A straight black hair, un cabello liso y negro. Curly red hair, un cabello eh, rizado, ¿verdad? Como nosotros lo conocemos, colocho. Y rojo, una persona pelirroja. Bald, alguien que es calvo. A mustache and a beard, que es una, un bigote y una barba. Luego tenemos en la edad, que igual podemos utilizar palabras que se refieran a la edad de las personas. The age, young, es alguien joven. Middle age, alguien de mediana edad. And someone that, uh, that is elderly, que es una persona mayor, una persona anciana. In looks, that is something complete. We have handsome, that is for a man or boys, uh, alguien guapo. Good looking, alguien que es atractivo, verdad, que tiene una, eh, que lo vemos que es bastante bien parecido. And pretty, que es bonita para las mujeres y las niñas. Luego, en height, we have short, alguien que es pequeño. Fairly short, un poco pequeño, pero no tanto. Medium height, que es una estatura promedio. Pretty tall, bastante alto. Y very tall, que es muy alto. So, and in this case, we have like just some example of these adjectives to describe people, but in this case, or, in, or we are talking about the appearance, like the name of this uh, video. Now, we are going to know how to apply this information to a conversation. Then we are going to learn something about the adjectives. And in this case, you know something about the adjectives, but we are just going to uh, talk about the adjectives, the importance of the adjectives and how to use in a conversation. So let's pay attention to this conversa conversation and then we are going to go to the document. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Okay, in this case, we have a, a very um, casual or casual conversation between two friends, maybe. And we have a girl that is, like, very curious about the girlfriend of a, her friend. And in this case, we have a conversation between Emily and Randy. And she wants to know um, what does the girlfriend look like? And she is asking some questions to understand um, or to, to ask some details about the appearance of the other person. But in this case, you can notice in this conversation, Brandy is not giving a lot of information related to, to the girlfriend. He is just like um, saying very basic things and you cannot uh, make a mental image of the girl because um, through this kind of information, you are not going to have a very specific image of this person. But uh, we begin this conversation with the phrase, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. And he said, yes, her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Él habla de su novia y dice que es eh, increíble. Because he is using the word gorgeous. Now, Emily wants to know why she is like this. And she asked, what does she look like? 
¿Cómo luce? ¿Cómo se ve? We are talking about something physical. We are not just talking about the feelings. We are not just talking about the way she talks. We are not talking about um, if she is smart or not. In this case, we need to know something physical. And he said, well, she's very tall. Yes, we have one point here because we are talking about the height. Estamos hablando de la estatura, es alguien alta. Ya nos hacemos una imagen de una persona alta. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Aquí, pregunta algo ya más puntual. ¿Qué color es su cabello? Um, she has beautiful red hair. Tiene el cabello rojo. Oh, she's tall and has red hair. Una mujer alta con el cabello rojo. Mm, we can imagine that, but we don't have anything else. And she said, and how old is she? La edad, ¿verdad? Está preguntando por la edad. Y él dice, I don't know. She won't tell me. That is kind of funny because he is not knowing anything about the, the age of the girlfriend. But in this case, we cannot imagine a girl or a very specific girl with this, um, these two definitions or these two words that he is using because we are not like imagine how is her face, uh, the color of the eyes, uh, anything else. We don't have anything uh, related to uh, something very specific of the girl. Now, we are going to begin with the uh, general information related to the adjectives. And of course, I have some um, activities for you, but I think we are not going to do the activities today. Um, I guess we are going to do it tomorrow. So we are going to take two days to talk about the, um, the adjectives. But give me a moment. Okay, we have a game. We have a game in this case, and we have an activity. Tenemos dos cosas. Vamos a hacer una, un juego. Mm, but I think it's not going to be very functional. Let me see. You are... How many? 10? Well, we can use 12 of these images. Yes, we can use 12 of the images that I have for the game. And then we are going to guess who is the, um, the person that we have in mind. And we can like, give some details related to the um, the people that you have in this game. But I'm going to explain you in a couple of minutes what is this, um, this activity about. So we're going to begin with the general information first, and then we are going to talk about the game. Okay, first we have a question. What is an adjective? For you, what is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo para ustedes? You can write your ideas on the chat. Oh, a description of something. Very good. What else? What is an adjective?
Okay, we are going to take this one. It's a description of something. Now, it's saying that an adjective is a describing word. Describes a quality. Mm, okay, very good. It tells us um, uh, more about a noun. It tells us more about the noun. Oh, okay, very good. It's a description of people, things, and so on to give like um sense of something to the statement or to describe something. Very good. Excellent. So in this case, if you know that the adjectives are words to describe something or to describe people or to describe um, different things, um, write some adjectives on the chat. Pueden escribir algunos ejemplos de adjetivos en el chat? To take the examples. Okay, I have one here. A beautiful, excellent. Good. What else? What other words we have that function as adjectives? Bad, okay. Handsome, very good. Funny, mm-hmm. Pretty, young, okay. Skinny, okay, very good. Skinny, happy. Excellent, pink, the colors, of course. A small. In this case, we're just going to talk about small because a smaller is related to the, the other things that we are going to talk about, the, the, the adjectives. Okay, we're going to take these ones. So in this case, we have works like this. Um, we have uh, words that are referring to the appearance of people, but also we are talking about uh, colors. You use colors here. All of the colors can function as adjectives. Los colores pueden funcionar como adjetivos. Um, palabras que eh, hablen sobre la apariencia de una persona, sobre las emociones, también podemos utilizar palabras así como tenemos el feliz, ¿verdad? El happy, angry, todo ese tipo de palabras también funciona. Incluso podemos utilizar números para referirnos a algo. Porque acuérdense que el adjetivo lo que hace es dar una eh, descripción extra o darnos información extra del nombre. And I have some examples with uh, words, but also a uh, complement. So we are going to write here other examples that I have for you. And let me see if I can get this one with this one. 
We have rainy day. Un día lluvioso. Fertile land. Tierra fértil. This girl. Incluso la palabra this puede funcionar como un adjetivo porque está describiendo al nombre niña o chica. Five fingers. Cinco dedos, como les decía, los números también funcionan. Many questions. Last question. Pretty girl. The easy ones, red apple. And so on. Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos sencillos de cómo podemos aplicar esta parte de los adjetivos. Ahora, nosotros tenemos a lot of adjectives, a lot of uh, types of adjectives. And in this case, we are going to talk about um, like 13 types of adjectives. Vamos a hablar por lo menos de 13 tipos de adjetivos. You can think, oh, wow, they are a lot of adjectives. They are a lot of information and it's going to be very boring. But now, in this case, we are just going to make um, very short information related to each type. Va a ser información corta por cada uno de los tipos de adjetivos que tenemos. Lo más importante por cada adjetivo y unos cuantos ejemplos. And that's it. We are not going to uh, take a lot of information to talk about the different type of adjectives. In this case, it's just to know uh, the different types that we have and what are or which are the words that we can use in each type of adjectives. Así que solo vamos a ver información básica del tipo de adjetivo y algunas palabras de ejemplo para que nosotros sepamos de qué trata o a qué se refiere cada tipo. So, in this case, we are going to have here 13 types of adjectives. But to make this one like kind of different, I'm going to insert a table. And I'm going to do it like one, two, and three. Three different parts. And I'm going to do it 13. One more. Oh, we need to move this one to the next page. Okay. Here we have the table. I'm going to take this out and we are going to see here. Here we have the adjective. Information and examples. Okay, we are going to begin with the number one that are possessive adjectives. And in this case, the possessive adjectives are, or it is some pronominal adjective which expresses what obviously possession. As possessive adjectives modify a noun by telling who it belongs to. It also answers the question whose. En este caso estamos hablando de adjetivos de posesión. Obviamente ya sabemos que se trata de hablar de a quién pertenece algo y responde la pregunta de quién, de quién es una, co una cosa o a quién pertenece una cosa. En este caso, pues, ya con el nombre sabemos a qué se refiere.
Okay, here we have the information. Okay, in the examples of these words, we have his, her, it's, my, our, their, and your. Your back. His notebook. Her um, backpack. Something like this. So in this case, we already know uh, some of these uh, words that we can use as possessive adjectives. Now, what is the second type of these words? We have adjective of quality. These ones are showing the kind of quality of nouns or pronouns and it's called adjective of quality. Estamos hablando de las cualidades de una persona. A eso se refieren los adjective of quality. Las cualidades que tiene una persona o incluso eh, cuando hablamos de animales. And in this case, we have some examples. Wise, hot, big, beautiful, honest. Ya estamos hablando eh, de las cualidades de una persona, alguien que es sabio, algo que es caliente, algo o alguien que es grande. Eh, bonita, o en este caso también la palabra honesto. Next one, adjective of number. Numeral adjectives are those that express numbers of the noun or pronoun. It also shows how many person or things are meant. Aquí tenemos adjetivos numerales que son aquellos que expresan, básicamente, según lo dice el nombre, números del de nombre o del pronombre. Y también muestra cuántos, eh, cuántas personas o cosas de las que nosotros pues estamos hablando. Okay, in this case, we have the following examples. And of course, we have numbers three, four, fifth, sixth, and also the word each. Because we are talking about something that is related to numbers. Then, this one is very easy to understand also. Adjective of color. And what is this about? Of course, we're talking about colors. And these adjectives are showing uh, the color of noun or pronoun, and it's called adjective of color. So in this case, we are talking about the colors.
then we have different examples. Orange, blue, black, green, yellow, and all of the colors that you want to add here. Aquí hablamos de todos los colores que nosotros podamos pensar e imaginar, porque básicamente está hablando de eso, de los diferentes colores. Eh, y cuando nos encontramos con esos colores, pues básicamente estamos hablando de adjetivos también. En el caso de que esté describiendo algo del nombre o del pronombre. Then we have the demonstrative adjectives. The adjective which shows that which and what thing is meant are called demonstrative adjectives. Estamos hablando de estos adjetivos que muestran cuál o qué cosa eh, es de la que nosotros nos estamos refiriendo, pues son estos adjetivos demonstrativos. Okay, in the examples we have this, that, this, those, and so on. I'm going to make this one because it is not taken like something correct but this one is different okay next one interrogative adjectives okay in these ones um is used with nouns to ask questions on uh, in our call interrogative adjectives of course, we know that this one is referring to questions. Esto se refieren a preguntas, ¿verdad? Cuando van acompañadas de un nombre. Um, we are going to do it like this. They are used with nouns to ask questions like this. And in this case, we have the following examples. Which book? What time? Whose car? Siempre que estén acompañados de un nombre. Number seven. Distribute adjectives. These ones are adjectives which refer to each one of a number or call. And of course, they are called distributed adjectives. So they are talking about like mm, to each one or a specific number. And we have the example, and it says, each of you will pay the tax. I mean, we will pay the tax. Each of you will pay the tax. So in this case, it's talking about the numbers, but uh, with the use of the word each. Which 
We are almost done. We have like six types more and we are going to end with this one. We have absolute adjectives. A, an adjective that is generally not capable of being intense or captured, and this adjective has not any comparative or superlative degree. In este caso, son eh, adjetivos uh, absolutos. Quiere decir que no pueden tener una parte superlativa y una parte eh, comparativa. O sea, simplemente son ellos y no se puede comparar ni superar. A eso se le llaman absolute adjectives. Ok, en this case, no tienen, estos adjetivos no tienen la capacidad de ser intensificados. O sea, quiere decir que no los podemos hacer eh, superlativos. Si tampoco pueden ser capturados, entonces no lo podemos hacer comparativo. Ya no, no lo podemos a, obligar a hacer este tipo de cambios. And in this case, we have the examples. We have the word perfect. Infinite, final. No podemos decir more perfect, more infinite, or the most final. En este caso solo se utilizan así, perfect, infinite, or final. Next one. Adjective of quantity. This one are very, very um, common to to learn. The adjectives will show the quantity of a noun are called adjectives of quantity. But here we are going to write, they show the quantity of a noun. And that's it. And we have the examples. Much, enough, half, and little. If you can notice, uh, when we're, we're talking about the quantifiers, uh, we have some words like this, like much, enough, and little. And I was saying before that in English, we have like a lot of words that we can use in different moments or in different categories. So here we have that they are functioning as an adjective, but we have learned that they are functioning as a quantifiers. Muchas de estas palabras se pueden utilizar de diferentes formas, eh, como adverbios, como adjetivos, como... Um, Eh, quantificadores, uh, they have like very, very uh, different forms to use the same word. Es la misma palabra, pero según el contexto, según cómo lo estemos utilizando, pues puede funcionar de diferentes formas. Now, we have adjective of shape. Adjectives of shape. 
And this one, uh, they are they represent the shape of pronoun is called. And we are talking about in this case, we can also talk about the, the body in this case, but we are talking about the noun. And we have some examples, broad, deep, low, skinny, high, wide, and so on. So we have three more. I think, yes, three more. Adjective or origin, adjetivos de origen. And in this case are adjectives which describe another person or thing in origin. Estamos hablando de Hablar de una persona o de una cosa en original, ¿verdad? O el origen de esa persona o de esa cosa. ¿Y a qué nos referimos con origen? Well, we have these examples. French. Lunch. American. Greek. Spanish. But if we are talking about different countries, why we are talking about lunch? Because remember that we are uh, talking about uh, things or objects and they have a very specific purpose. So in this case, we are talking about a specific uh, moment in time or in the day. So that's why. Two more and we are going to end this one. Indefinite adjectives. Adjetivos indefinidos. Indefinite adjectives are those adjectives which point out uh, the nouns. They often tell how many or how much of something. And we have the examples, all, any, another, both, each, and either. And we have the last one. There are adjective of position. Igual tenemos adjetivos de posición, no solo tenemos adverbios, sino también de eh, posición. I mean, también tenemos adjetivos. This ones uh, is either used on subject or object before the noun, and it can also be used as a complement.
Okay, and the last examples of this one, we have, I saw an old tree. And in this case, we mark the word old because this one is the adjective like this. Then he is wise. And we mark the word wise. And the last one, this tree is high. And we mark the adjective that is this one. Okay, so in this table, we have 13 different types of adjectives. Tenemos 13 tipos diferentes de adjetivos. Unos que ya son muy conocidos, otros que quizás no sabíamos que tenían ese nombre, pero que ya los utilizábamos porque no son palabras nuevas. Eh, they are very common words that we can use to create statements, even when we are not thinking about that we are making statements with adjectives. But in this case, you can see that they have very specific functions. But the thing is that we are going to also talk about the adverb of um, that help us to describe the personality or even the physical appearance of someone. In este caso, in 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 esta parte de los adjetivos, no estamos hablando de adjetivos para describir a las personas. Estamos utilizando otro tipo de adjetivos. And if we want to use words to describe people, we are going to use or we are going to find that there are a lot of words. Um, in some cases, we can find more than 400 uh, words. A veces, cuando queremos hablar de la descripción de las personas, encontramos... Um, documentos con más de 100, de 300 eh, palabras para describir a una persona. Entonces, eh, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros en this case, um, we are going to use a very short information or a very short list of words that uh, are used to describe a people or describe a person. And I'm going to put the image um, in this case, uh, at the end of this part, and we are going to read the different categories that we have there. We are going to talk about the personality, we are going to talk about the style, eh, the nationality, the physical appearance, the hair, the height, the age, shapes, and character traits. We are going to have like this kind of categories. Vamos a tener categorías dentro de Palabras para describir a una persona. Vamos a hablar de su personalidad, de su estilo en general, o sea, la forma en la que se viste, de la nacionalidad o de la etnia a la que pertenece, eh, de la apariencia física, obviamente, de el tipo de cabello, eh, de la estatura, ¿verdad? O la construcción de esa persona, de la edad, de las formas que tiene, ¿verdad? En su cuerpo, ya sea en la cara o en el cuerpo en general, y de cosas sobre su eh, carácter, ¿ya? Yeah? We are going to have like this kind of categories. But also, I'm going to have two more lists. Vamos a tener dos listas más. Una es positive adjectives to describe a person. Vamos a utilizar una que es una lista de adjetivos positivos para describir a una persona. And in this list, we're going to find words like observant, patient, charming, polite, helpful, proactive, efficient, and so on. It works. And then also, if we have a positive adjectives, we are going to have a negative adjectives. And we are going to have a list of adjectives from A to Z. Vamos a ver una lista de adjetivos negativos que van desde la A hasta la Z. And I'm going to add three images to the document. Vamos a eh, 
tener esas tres imágenes en el documento para que hablemos un poco sobre las palabras que podemos utilizar para describir a las personas. And in this case, we are not just going to use words that are positive to describe someone. We can also use uh, words that are negative because we don't have like everything good. We have some negative things. And in this case, we are going to learn how to use those words to say something related to someone. And let me stop this one because I'm going to add the images. Because you can see some words of the list because it is almost time to end the session. But give me a second. I'm going to put the three images at the same time. Okay, let me see. I'm going to add this one here. Okay, I have one. I have number two. And I have number three. Okay. Uh, let me do this one a little bit shorter. Okay. You can find these images on the document. So don't worry, they are on the document. So in this first one, we have, I, oh my God. We have this one that is related to a, um, the different categories that we have of words to describe a person. How to describe a person. And we have here the categories, personality. We have different words like calm, arrogant, humble, eccentric, charismatic, brave, careful, and so on. Then we have the style, flamboyant, chic, eclectic, modest, trendy, casual, and different words. Then we have here, the positive adjectives to describe a person. And here, oh, that is kind of in another page here. We have the negative adjectives to describe someone and we have the list of negative adjectives from A to C. If you want to read the uh, adjectives, you can go to the document and check the list. So it's time to end the session. So we are going to end right here. And we are going to see each other tomorrow to continue with this topic. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you.